What's up my fellow weirdos, it's your host with the most, Grim, and today we're doing a deep dive into the Twisted Well- I started doing the Fortnite accents, give me one moment. Today we're doing a deep dive into the Twisted Realm of Invader Zim, and exploring how the cult classic series left a massive mark on both society and scene culture specifically. of uh, Sin Kid Deep Dive because I like Invader Zim. I, I love the show, I love the character Gur, everything about it. I, I, I am a Sin Kid, or Simo. It's like a mixture between emo and Sin Kid. I, I was more Sin Kid back during the pandemic, but it was like traditional Sin Kid, not the, not the type you see on TikTok nowadays. But I, I, I grew up on the show, even though it was made and ended around the time, a year before I was born. My mom introduced me to the show. She was a big fan of it back when I, uh, back when she when it was first airing. Let's talk about it. I I specifically Gur. He's gonna be the main focus of this video. But let's talk about how Jonan Vasquez created Invader Zim. Jonan Vasquez, the creator of Invader Zim, is known for his unique and unconventional approach to storytelling. The idea of Invader Zim originated from Vasquez's own dark and satirical comic book style, which he had developed with his earlier works like Johnny the Homicidal Maniac. The concepts of Invader Zim came to Vasquez during the late 1990s when he was working as a comic book artist. At the time, he was approached by Nickelodeon, a major te children's television network, to create a new animated series despite Vasquez's reputation for producing darker and edgier content. Nickelodeon was drawn to his distinctive art style and offbeat sense of humor. Vasquez took the opportunity but decided to subvert to traditional children's animation genre by infusing it with his unique storytelling style. He wanted to create a show that would challenge the norms and expectations of uh, typical animated series, often something different and appealing to a wider audience. Inspired by his own experiences with social anxiety, a feeling of being an outsider, Vasquez developed the character of Zim, an overzealous and delusional alien invader who is sent to conquer Earth. Zim's relentless determination and misguided confidence provided a perfect vehicle for Vasquez to explore themes of isolation, identity, and social commentary. Vasquez incorporated elements of dark humor and absurdity and satire into Vader Zim, creating a show that has a distinct visual style and unique blend of comedy and darkness. The series showcased Vasquez's distinct art style and characterized by exaggerated character designs, angular shapes, and gloomy atmosphere. The development of the show involved a collaboration with a team of writers and animators who helped bring Vasquez's vision to life. The result of the show that stood out from the crowd, captivating audiences with unconventional humor and exploration of unconventional themes within a traditionally lighthearted medium. In summary, Joan and Vasquez conceived the idea of Invader Zim as an opportunity to bring his dark satirical comic book style to the world of children's animation by infusing the show with his unique storytelling and artistry. He created a series that challenges expectations, explores themes of identity, and resonates with some diverse audiences. All in all, the show was really just to commentary about how a kid could feel like an outsider, but it's it's it, like from an outside perspective, if you like, if you're not actually thinking about what it could mean, it's probably just some goofy goofy show about an alien. But it 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 really does seem like it's about a kid who just feels like an outsider, doesn't fit in, stuff like that. Now we are here at the actual main part of the video. Why Gur is so popular in scene kid culture? Now this might th th this whole this whole bit this whole part of my script might sound a bit cringy. It, it is, but yeah. the character Gur from Invader Zim has gained popularity within scene kid culture for several reasons, and we're gonna go list them all off. Number one. Quirky and memorable personality. Gur is known for his eccentric personality and unpredictable behavior, often displaying childlike innocence and a love for random and absurd antics. Antics, yes. His unpredictable nature and humorous, dial humorous dialogue has made him a memorable character appealing to those who appreciate offbeat and unconventional humor. Gur's iconic design. I'm about to sneeze. 
Guru's appearance with his green dog suit and large expressive eyes have become a iconic symbol associated with Invaders Inn. His cute and distinctive design has made him visually appealing and recognizable, making him appear uh, making him a popular choice for merchandising, fan art, and cosplay within literally any community, honestly. But mostly in the scene kid community. Three, relatable quotability. If if you look at like scene kid videos where it's like shit scene kids say, most of the times, it, it, sometimes, not most of the time, sometimes you'll hear a girl quote. Or if you look at vintage MySpace videos where they talk about, oh, I'm exploring MySpace uh, pages. Or if you look at uh, old art that's posted by like, Humbler uh, archive blogs that like blog, old team kid stuff, or like old internet stuff, it'll be there's a lot of girl stuff. And it's mainly like the, the, the quotes, or just grr, like a grr gift, where it has the quote. Well, among these quotes are, I'm going to sing the Doom song, I'm making biscuits, etc, etc. Number four, embracing individuality and non-conforming. Invader Zim includes the characters, wait. Invader Zim, including the character of Gur, embodies a sense of non-conformality and embracing one's uniqueness. Being kids, being kid culture has celebrated individual individuality, and Gur is uncon unconventional behavior and disregard for societal norms aligned with these values. He represents a character that's unapologetically himself, which resonates with those who appreciate alternative and subvers subversive expressions of identity. Number five, nostalgic. This one really resonates with me. The nostalgic appeal, Invader Zim originally aired in early 2000s, and many Sin Kids grew up watching the show during their formative years. Gurr's popularity within Sin Kid culture can also be attributed to a sense of nostalgia. Uh, nostalgia. Fans fondly remember the show and its characters from their youth. Overall, Gurr's popularity within Sin Kid culture can be attributed to his quirky personality and iconic design, relatable quotes, and celebration of individuality. <laughs> Nostal uh, nostalgic appeal. His whimsical and eccentric nature continues to resonate with fans who appreciate his unique charm and offbeat humor. And that, that's that's why I think Gurr is an icon for scene kid culture. Because of his uniqueness, love for absurd humor, then just whimsical nature in general. And I think that's why a lot of scene kids floated towards Gurr. That's why I floated towards Gurr. Gurr was, uh, as, a, as a child, I dressed up like Gurr. Here's a picture of that. Uh, that, I was nine, actually. I, as a kid, I'm like, oh, this is so quirky, this is so cool. Seeing kids are like that. This is so quirky, this is so cool. And not in like a, that's not in like a bad way. I think it's really neat that these people are like, oh, I like waffles, do you like waffles? And then stuff like that. Like early creepypasta Tumblr humor, stuff like that. I, that, that's a whole entire thing we're gonna get to. That's a whole entire video we're gonna get to. My closing statement, it's, oh wait. Thank you for tuning in today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment, and hit that notification bell to stay updated on all my videos. I'm gonna do, I'm, I'm gonna be doing more videos like this. Next time, I'm gonna be looking into the character Domo and why he was so popular in the early 2000s and then vanished. You don't see merch of him anymore, and we're gonna be talking about that. I'm gonna see you guys later. Bye-bye.